Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So you've probably seen all these before, but I wanted to show you three of these together as a collection. And um, they're opera glasses and they're antique. Now, I could care less about the opera. It bores me to death. <laughs> so I didn't collect them because I like the opera. I collected them because I think they're pretty. So what we have here is three different kinds, all made in the 1890s. And uh, all three are French. Now, um, this particular pair is the most common pair that you would see. Um, generally, you would see these with the mother of pearl panels. These weren't cheap when they were made. They, was, they were geared towards the middle class and the wealthy. And uh, they're by Leclerc in Paris. And it's missing, this one's missing the glass little eyepiece. But I could just replace it by buying another pair of really uh, inexpensive ones that were broken already. And just like uh, put a piece of glass in there. So that's something that's on my uh, bucket list. I have to do that soon. So yeah, so that's one. Whoops, we dropped the case over here. And then um, what's uh, really cool, again, is these mother of pearl eyepieces or eye cups. And then it came with its original case. It's made out of leather and it has uh, silk on the inside. These were always so dainty and pretty. And then we have a button on the front that opens and, and locks them with a little handle. It's seen better days. Then these are really, really unique. Um, you don't really see too many of these. Now, these are made out of, I believe, oxen bone or cow bone otherwise like known as ivory opera glasses. And these are really, really beautiful. Again, they're probably French, although they're not marked. And let me show you a close up of the oxen bone. So it gets yellowed with age. And a lot of times uh, you'll see them with little carvings on them, like scrimshore. Um, if you don't know what scrimshore is, it was uh, sailors would get whalebone and while they were on ships, they would be very bored. So they would sit and they would carve on the whalebone and make really artistic looking things out of that whalebone. And uh, so this is a carving of some kind of like scroll motif with some kind of flowers on it. And it goes around the whole entire pair of glasses. On the back, uh, we have butterflies. And this you can clearly see is 1890s. Um, the naturalistic type of style was very popular back then called Art Nouveau. And they used a lot of insects and in, uh, in their art. So then um, it came with its original case and uh, it seemed petit days also like the other one. And so when you open it up, look how cool this is. The person, <laughs> which is great, this is great for figuring out um, how old things were, had uh, written initials in there. So it was a gift to someone um, in 1896 on Christmas. So BMP from WP, I wish I knew who these people's names, you know, who they are. Uh, uh, what their full names were because uh, the initials doesn't help me do research. But 1890. And again, we have that uh, silk going on the inside. Really, really pretty stuff. And these are actually my favorite. Let me show you. So what we have here is French purse glasses. And these actually open and close. Um, so you can close it and it's more of a travel size. Um, it has a chain on it. And um, I believe these are called Chatelaine chains which in French I think means chain. And so this would hang down from a lady's belt. So if a lady had a, a little hook hanging from the waistband of her skirt, she could have these uh, hanging. And uh, she can actually, um, when she's not using them at the opera, she could just put them down and have them attached to her clothing. And these are really, really elaborate. It's made out of leather, has this beautiful Art Nouveau design, which again was very naturalistic, very nature-wise. And you see these lovely flowers, um, raised, it's like raised relief on the leather. Really, really pretty stuff, as you can see here. Um, again, the lenses pop up, and then this can be closed. It's like an accordion. I don't know if you see that. Now, the back isn't as fancy. Let me just, uh, the back isn't as fancy, but it's still pretty nonetheless. It's missing the little wheel to focus, but that's really no big deal. The tops, it says La Reine, Paris. And let me show you what it's like when you close it. So let me, again, show you what it looks like. Really, really beautiful. And then what you do is you turn this little peg here, and then um, it closes. Watch. You ready? And then um, you snap it shut. Boom. And then it's a, what do you call it now, a purse. <laughs> so that's really, really cool. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm 
really glad that you stopped by to check these out. And I'll see you guys all soon. So long.